Hi, uh, my name's Tim Robertson. I am the security supervisor here at Peru State College. I'd like to thank all of you for attending this session on campus uh, safety. I have a short video that uh, should answer most of your questions that you may have about uh, security and safety on campus. Uh, once the video is over, I will be available to answer any questions. Hello, my name is Tim Robertson. I'm the security supervisor here at Peru State College. And today I would like to talk to you a little bit about uh, security here on uh, Peru State College. Um, our security team, we have uh, three full-time security officers plus myself. Um, our security officers are April Ashman. She's a day shift security officer. Then we have uh, Mark Haywood and Mike Martin, which are both um, work overnights. We also have three part-time security uh, officers that fill in uh, throughout the week and uh, work uh, during our activities. And that would be uh, Robert Dean, Greg Kantz, and then Brian Schutz. Security provides many services on campus. Uh, one of the services that we provide is an escort service. Uh, so if you're working late in the library, um, which is open until midnight, and you don't feel comfortable walking back to your vehicle or your resident hall, you can always call campus security and we will uh, provide uh, you an escort to your vehicle or your resident hall. Uh, you can use that anytime during the day, anytime that you don't feel uh, comfortable walking by yourself. So uh, that is one of the services we provide. We also provide uh, vehicle services. Uh, if you lock yourself out of your car, we can help you get into your car. We'll do jumps, uh, starts, and then we also will assist you with uh, changing a flat tire. Um, in the resident halls, campus security uh, can provide, uh, let you into your room if you lock yourself out. And we also, we do patrol the common areas of the resident halls uh, throughout the day and evening. Some of the campus uh, safety and security uh, procedures that we have, uh, we will respond to all um, crimes that happen on campus or uh, request for any assistance. Uh, we provide security 24 hours a day. Um, anytime the resident halls are open for students uh, throughout the school year, uh, we will have a security officer uh, on duty. Uh, we also uh, ensure safety and emergency practices are being followed on campus. And we patrol the parking lots and the common areas of campus. All of our security officers are trained in CPR uh, and AEDs and first aid. Um, on our campus, we do have an AED uh, located in every building on campus. Uh, if there is an emergency on campus and you see it, um, uh, reporting an emergency is very important. Uh, you can contact our campus security office at 402-872-2411, or if you're calling from any uh, office phone on campus, you just have to dial 2411. If uh, there is a major emergency, uh, call 911 and that will contact Nemaha County Sheriff's Office. Uh, you should contact uh, 911 before calling campus security if it's any emergency where it's a life threatening to both people or um, uh, somebody is in immediate danger. Um, if you see smoke or a fire in a building, uh, or when you see a major crime being committed, uh, or if medical uh, rescue medical assistance is needed. Just remember, don't ever call 911 um, as a joke, and don't call them uh, if it's just that you're needing information such as uh, weather conditions, uh, power outages, or directions. If you need those type of things, you can always call campus security and we would be happy to, to be able to assist you with those. Um, tips to keep yourself safe. So if you're on campus, uh, you know, just remember there are several different tips that, that can keep you safe. Always be mindful of your surroundings. Know what's around you. Know um, 
where you're going, who who's with you, any anything that's around you. Uh, report any suspicious activity. If something doesn't look right, let campus security know. Um, we, you know, it may not be anything, but then again, it could be, you know, something that uh, is major that you're helping save somebody. Um, uh, look out for one another. Um, I always recommend that you walk uh, with somebody else. Uh, go and buddy the buddy system, especially late at night or in the evenings. You know, take a friend if you're going to go somewhere. Keep your rooms and your valuables uh, locked uh, securely. Uh, if you leave your room, even if it's to go down the hall to the restroom, lock your door. It only takes about three seconds for somebody to walk in your room and take your uh, laptop off of your desk. So if you're out of your room, always keep your room locked. Um, on your valuables, if, they, if it's something that has a serial number, write down all those serial numbers before you come to campus. And that way, if one of your items does get um, stolen or lost, uh, if you have the serial number, it will make it much easier for uh, both campus security or law enforcement to get that back to you if it is found. Uh, lock your vehicle. Um, that's that it goes the same way with your room. It does not take very long for somebody to get in and take something from your vehicle, or uh, worse, get in your vehicle and hide in it until uh, you're there and then take you hostage. Always have your keys in your hand and ready to unlock your car door. Uh, that way, if something is happening, you know, if you have your keys in your hand, when you get to your vehicle, you can get right into it, get in, in your vehicle, and uh, you're a lot safer in your vehicle than, than out. Uh, never get into uh, to your vehicle without first determining that no one is uh, hiding in it. So I always tell uh, everyone that, you know, when you come up to your vehicle, just kind of look in the back seat, make sure that there's nobody in there. Uh, you know, just uh, check out your vehicle. Just make sure that that everything is okay in it. Uh, if you feel concerned about uh, your safety when you're walking to your car or uh, walking from a building, once again, always call campus security. We are happy to come and walk with you and give you an escort. Uh, and that, once again, we have 24-hour coverage on campus, so we can do that anytime. Uh, we will escort you uh, to your vehicle, to your uh, resident hall. Uh, we will, you know, we'll anywhere on campus. And don't isolate yourself. Keep yourself, uh, uh, you know, with others. Uh, sometimes, you know, it is nice to be, be alone, but just remember it late at night or even during the daytime. Uh, be around others. Uh, if there's more than one of you, it is a lot easier if, if something does go go wrong or somebody is, is following you uh, to protect yourself if you're with somebody else. So Peru State College has an emergency alert system uh, that we will use any time that there's a school closing uh, severe weather, uh, tornadoes, um, or if there is a uh, emergency on campus such as an active threat or a fire in a building, or we want you to stay clear of a certain area. Uh, we would like for you all to sign up for emergency alerts so you get those. Um, uh, it's real easy to do. All you need to do is um, on your cell phone, text to the number 79516, the word Bobcat Alert, all lowercase, all one word. Uh, if you text that Bobcat Alert to uh, to that number, you'll be signed up for uh, the next four years of, of service. So throughout your entire school year, you won't have to do it each year. Posted in each uh, classroom on campus is our emergency protocols. Um, I highly encourage you uh, to look at those when you get uh, on campus. Uh, they are uh, posted in each classroom. They're also in the uh, student center and in the residence halls, uh, common areas. So uh, these posters around campus, they will 
tell you uh, what to do in, in different types of emergencies, such as uh, an active threat on campus, um, if there's an aggressive person, um, uh, where the shelter in place, it'll talk about uh, fire evacuations, um, severe weather, uh, if there's a bomb threat on campus, uh, power outages, and then uh, it also it, it explains to you what the difference between you know lockdown, uh, building evacuations, how the shelter in place, and then uh, information that you need to know uh, if we do have a, an active threat on campus, uh, what to know if uh, when law enforcement shows up on campus. Each October, uh, Proof State College uh, publishes the annual security report. This is in compliance with uh, federal law. Uh, it's the Gene Clary Disclosure of Campus Security Policy and Crime Statistics Act. Um, in this uh, uh, security report, it will have everything that you would need to know about security on campus. It has our statistics uh, for the last three years of uh, of crimes that are required to be reported to uh, the Department of Education. It'll also has any uh, programs that we've uh, conducted in the last year uh, to, for crime prevention, uh, sexual assault awareness, uh, and other uh, crime prevention uh, uh, activities that have happened on campus. And it uh, is a good place to find information on what to do uh, if there is um, a crime occurring on campus. It has um, all of that information in, the, in this report. Uh, you can find the, the report on uh, the Peru website. Uh, if you go to uh, peru.edu slash security slash annual security report, or if you go to, just to the security page, uh, down the side uh, of that page, uh, you can just click on uh, the annual security report and, and you can get the information there that you need. Parking on campus. Uh, parking for uh, on campus does require a parking permit. Uh, the good news is parking permits for uh, students are free. Uh, you can receive your parking permit uh, from the security office by completing the application on the Bobcat app. Or if you go to peru.edu slash parking, uh, you can complete it there. Just click on the student parking permit um, link and uh, complete the application. Uh, once uh, you have completed that application, uh, we'll send you an email and let you uh, know that it is ready for pickup. Um, if you are living on campus, uh, those parking permits will be uh, put in with your uh, welcome packet when you get to campus if you've completed them prior to prior to your move-in date. Uh, if you are a commuter, uh, we will be mailing those to your uh, home address if you've completed them pr prior to the first day of school. If uh, you have not completed your permit by the first day of school, then you'll have to pick them up in the security office located in the campus uh, security building. Parking areas on campus. Each uh, area on campus is um, designated for certain types of parking permits. So if you are living in Morgan Hall, you will receive a purple parking permit and you can park in uh, two lots, uh, lot I and lot D. Lot I is the lot located behind Morgan Hall and the Student Center. That parking lot is designated only for Morgan Hall residents. Uh, it does fill up fast. Uh, so there is another lot that you can park in, and that is Lot D, and there is a designated area in that lot. Um, lot D is, is as you come into campus, it will be the lot um, on the right-hand side of the road. Um, complex. If you live out at the complex, you'll have a light blue parking permit, and that one uh, will allow you to park at the complex parking lot. So that's Lot A and Lot B. Uh, those are the two lots located on either side of the complex. Those are the only lots that you are allowed to park in with a complex parking permit. And then Delzell, uh, you will have an orange parking permit, and you can park in lot H, which is all of the lots around uh, Delzell. There's two lots across the street, and then there's a lot uh, that is uh, on 5th Street. You can also park 
in the parking areas in front of the Oak Bowl. Uh, please remember though those uh, parking spaces in front of the Oak Bowl um, on uh, football game days, uh, you would have to have your vehicle moved out of those lots. And in commuter, uh, you will have a red parking permit and you can park in lot C, lot D, and lot F. Lot C and lot D are the two lots right uh, at the top of the hill across from the flagpole uh, on either side of the street. And then lot F is the lot next to um, the AWAC. Here is a map of uh, campus that will show you where those, those different lots are. And the map is designated by, by the color. Um, with your parking permit, you will receive a uh, copy of this um, map along with a quick guide to the parking regulations. So do you have any questions for me at this time? Um, if, or if you think of questions in the future, you can always contact security. Um, the on-duty security officer can be reached at 402-872-2411. That is our emergency security line. It is answered 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can also email security at security at peru.edu. Or if you would like to get in touch with me directly, my direct line is 402 872 2357, or you can email me at trobertson at peru.edu. Nope, we're still on. I don't, uh, we're going to wait and see if there's any questions. Um, I don't have any right now, but I'm just looking just in case somebody's typing. Nope, it doesn't look like we have any questions. All right. Well, uh, thank you, everyone, for attending uh, this session today. Uh, I can't wait to see you all on campus uh, here in August.